KFC is a big deal in China. It was the first Western fast food chain to set up shop here in China, and as of now, it is China's biggest, largest restaurant chain. It's huge. In the past few years, China has been the place where KFC comes to test its ideas. For example, a robot-run restaurant in Shanghai, facial recognition ordering kiosks, as well as a lot of innovative menu items. Who could forget the chizza, which is the chicken pizza, or the infamous chicken taco? And actually, funniest thing, as I was on the subway to come here today, there was a huge advertisement for a chicken burger, which is basically a burger nestled between two pieces of chicken. So healthy. <laughs> oh, and by the way, here in China, Colonel Sanders is played by a 20 year old Chinese superstar. His name is Lu Han. He is like the ultimate Chinese heartthrob or Xiao Xian Zhou. You may be wondering, what is a Xiao Xian Zhou? Well, I'm here to hit you with some knowledge. Xiao means little or young, Xian means fresh, and Zhou means meat. So, young, fresh meat. Still don't get what I mean? Okay, a Google search should further clarify things. Let's do a little image search, and yeah, these are all prime examples of Xiao Xin Rou. Young, porcelain skinned, slightly feminine cuties. Oh, and this guy. So yeah, out with the old and in with the Luhan. It's definitely not a brand that's resting on its laurels, it's always being innovative, and there's always something new coming out of KFC. And now KFC is taking active steps to stay relevant in the increasingly fitness and health conscious Chinese community. And that is what brings me here today. Today I've come here to K-Pro, which is KFC's new healthy spin-off restaurant here in Shanghai. And it's basically what you'd get if you made it a KFC with a salad bar. It's like healthy KFC. And the funniest thing about this particular K-Pro is it's right next door to an original KFC. So healthy, unhealthy, you can take your pick. Okay, let's go check it out. So here at K-Pro, you do your ordering on big self-service screens at the front of the store because, you know, who actually likes human interaction? Okay, so you've got like paninis, salads. What else do we have here? Beautiful like little drinks. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, is that sweet potato fries? Yes, please. So it seems they've replaced the burger with a panini and uh, yeah, you've got all these different salads that actually look super delicious. I think I'm gonna have to get something from each category. Okay, let's talk about the prices. Most of these sandwiches are like 38 to 48 renminbi. Just for reference, 38 renminbi is like five American dollars. So while it may be a little bit more expensive than the original KFC, it's still like really good prices. I think I'm gonna go for a salad for my main today. And it's actually really hard to choose what I want. I think I might go for this, oh, I don't know. Go to order some sweet potato chips. I'm so excited about those. These look so fabulous, I'm gonna have to get, get a dessert. And for a drink, I want this crazy pink thing. Looks so good, yes. What's the difference? Diwejo. Oh, I think this one's alcoholic. I've just realized that this half of the menu is alcoholic and then this half is non-alcoholic. So if you want a bit of a cheeky drink, you can go for this one, which is what I'm going to do. I've never before in my life ordered alcohol from KFC, so this will be an experience. Okay, so I've ordered four things, a salad, a chips, a dessert, and a drink. This is going to be fun. So we pay from here on the kiosk. So all up, the bill has come to 113 renminbi, which I'm really impressed by, considering we've ordered three menu items plus an alcoholic beverage. That's equivalent to like 15 American dollars. So yeah, it's cool. So I've grabbed a number, so now I'm gonna go sit down and they're just gonna deliver my food to me. So while I'm waiting for my food, let's just talk about this decor here. It's very modern, industrial chic. It's definitely the kind of place I'd like to sit down and eat a salad. Um, it's got this more of a green color scheme, I guess, to indicate some kind of healthiness. And interestingly, there is not a Colonel Sanders or Luhan inside. <laughs> I guess he'd be appalled. What happened to my good old fried chicken? That's so funny. There's a guy that's bought KFC from next door and has come here to eat it. I guess he enjoys the industrial chic like I do. My meal has arrived. 
and unfortunately the drink that I got was sold out but they've brought me another one which looks also very nice it also has alcohol in it so that's very strong that's so cute a lady just came over and asked me if I'd like them to bring my ice cream now or later so thoughtful first impressions these sweet potato chips are decent got a decent crunch on them which I really really enjoy let's try this salad it's a very fancy salad we've got like blueberries dragon fruit avocado and then we've got some shrimp and kale and a lovely vinaigrette that's really tasty and yeah it is a bit of a novelty coming to a KFC chain and eating a kale salad um, but yeah I guess you've got to move with the times. And I think KFC is doing a good job assimilating to what the modern Chinese populace want and need. I'm a fan. I would come again. I'm a fan of the price. I'm a fan of the food. I'm definitely a fan of these sweet potato chips. Yeah, why not? Caper. Ooh, my ice cream has arrived. That looks super cute. I'm gonna devour that in a minute. But yeah, I wanna know what you guys think of this Capro. I'd love to hear what you think. Please subscribe, would love to see your support. Ooh, how does this work? Do you like scoop it up? Am I going about this totally wrong? Okay, yeah.